Last week, the Star City Pride Drag Show was canceled Thursday due to safety concerns for patrons and organizers. The fundraising event was set to be held on Friday at the Crescent Moon Coffee in the Haymarket. Channel 8's Philip Catalfamo is in the studio right now to give us an update on all of this. Philip. Thank you, Rod. In a Facebook post announcing the cancellation, Star City Pride said an extreme group of individuals were posting misinformation, threats, and derogatory information about the event. Star City Pride canceled their drag show Thursday after posts on social media said the event was aimed towards children. Gretchen Arroyo, Star City Pride's president, says her entertainment director spoke with the venue, Crescent Moon, to make sure that the all-ages drag show and a separate event happening the following day at a bar clearly stated age restrictions in marketing material. So we wanted to make sure that it was very clear since these um, events were back-to-back -back, that one was an event that all families could come to to bring their kids, bring their grandparents, um, whatever, and that uh, it was very clear that the second was for adults only. Wednesday, Out Nebraska informed Star City Pride about the posts made by the Nebraska Freedom Coalition, a conservative political action committee. Malia Shirley, director with the Nebraska Freedom Coalition, says children should not be in any sexualized setting, but they were not looking for the event to get canceled. We were just looking for there should at least be an age limit or to just not allow children to be in that type of sexualized setting. Shirley went further, saying regardless of the venue, the nature of the event was not appropriate. Key part being all ages, if it's revised and not and doesn't allow children, then that's totally fine, which has been our our stance from the beginning. Following day, the coalition tweeted again, posting, quote, these all ages shows should be immediately shut down and the perpetrators brought to justice. They know exactly what they're doing. They're picking and choosing words that are inflammatory to then inflame any of their followers to incite violence. That's it. Arroyo says threats like these will not stop the organization from producing future events. We don't take these lightly anymore, um, especially in light of the incredible tragedy that just happened in Colorado Springs. The safety of our attendees, the safety of our board, the safety of Crescent Moon employees, the safety of our performers, um, we won't take any chances. But they will take necessary steps to ensure marketing materials clearly state the intentions of the event. And Star City Pride has been working alongside the Lincoln Police Department to ensure that future events are safe for everyone and anyone who attends. Back to you, Rod and Megan. All right, thank you, Philip, for the report.